Hi guys and girls, Kiana Baldi. Today we're gonna talk about the trapezius muscle, also known as the traps, which is here. Now, there is a misconception amongst people which they think that uh, the trapezius or the trap muscle is just here and it's just the muscle that comes like this. It helps in bringing the arm up or just elevation of the shoulder blade. That is not all it does and it also is not all the trapezius muscle is. Believe it or not, the trapezius muscle is like a rhombus. So it's not just the upper fibers, it's got the uh, middle fibers and also the lower fibers. But majority of people when they want to train, they just do some shrugs, which is like this. And they think that that's all the trapezius does. We're gonna just divide them into three sections because the fibers are going in different uh, places. We're gonna give you examples on how you should train each part. But before that, let's talk about the anatomy of the muscle itself. We're not gonna get that much specific. Just make sure that you understand this topic. So when I explain the exercises, it's gonna be a lot easier for you. So the trapezius comes from somewhere around here. To here, so in the middle part, your spinous process, which is just uh, on top of your vertebrae, and it's just the middle part of your body from here to here, and it goes again at like a rhombus to your side. So it comes from here all the way to your clavicle, one third of your clavicle or your collarbone, uh, the collarbone which is here, just one third of it. It also goes to the acromion bone and the spine of the scapula. So somewhere from here all the way back. Now, now that you see where it starts and where it finishes, it is a little bit uh, more clear for you to understand that it's not all there is. So because the fibers go in three different directions there is a lot more than just elevating your shoulders also as you notice it's not like a bicep so when you train the, train the bicep when you do this you're attacking the muscle you're using it in the direction it is but when you do this because the uh, fibers on the top are like this you're not getting the best out of it now first we want to talk about the upper part again we talked about the shrugs which is like this I'm gonna tell you how to do the shrugs the best possible way for the traps if you've got a seat that can be angled a little bit and you just drop your arm and do this you're gonna see that you have a lot more range of motion instead of just uh, compared to just standing up and doing this exercise and the reason is as mentioned this was diagonal so when you angle yourself it's going to be a little bit straight and it's going to make it a lot easier for you to perform the exercise so just try to be a little bit angled also you might notice that when you do this exercise your neck comes a little bit back that's normal as mentioned the traps come all the way up and they help in extending the neck as well it's okay if it moves a little bit back but just make sure that you do not overdo it or exaggerate it just do not keep it steady if it moves a little bit back it's all right but do not force it to just be uh, steady and not move this was for the upper part also as mentioned that's not all the upper part does it's not just the elevation of the scapula or your shoulder blade. Another big function of the upper uh, trap is upward rotation of the scapula or shoulder blade. So if this is my shoulder blade, when I do this, my shoulder blade is rolling up as well. So the top part is coming down and the bottom part is coming up as well. And the best exercise to target the traps for this function is the lateral raises. Now that, 
this is why I always tell my clients do not try to just focus on the shoulder when you do the lateral raises and the reason is it's just you cannot do that you cannot isolate the shoulder 100% by itself when you do the shoulder raises you're going to use the traps as well but if you want to use more traps just instead of just bringing the arm up try to shrug a little bit as well and you might see that as you have seen my neck comes a little bit to the side and again because the traps work in lateral flexion of the neck as well so you might feel a little bit of bend in the neck on top as well medium fibers which are in the middle they mostly help in the retraction of the shoulder so if I'm like this if I do this I'm bringing the shoulder blades together so if this is protraction this is retraction so the middle fibers do that they also work a lot uh, with the rhomboid muscles we're gonna talk about those muscles in uh, future videos because there are a lot of exercises to target those two muscles uh, the medial fibers uh, the medial fibers of the trapezius also the rhomboid but just know that they help in retraction or bringing the shoulder blades together the lower fibers work mostly in the stability of the shoulder blade so when you do upward rotation like bringing your arm up the lower although the uh, upper fibers are doing the job the lower fibers are working in stability and just helping the upper fibers to work so when you do this you're using the lower fibers as well because they just help in bring, uh, stabilizing the shoulder blade and letting you bring the arm up also they work in keeping your shoulder blades retracted as well so if you're like this if you just hold it back you're using the uh, medium fibers also the lower fibers as well because it's just uh, stopping you from protracting so for the medial fibers things like flies are great because on top you're retracting the shoulder just make sure you're retracting the shoulder as well so again retract the shoulder as well do not just bring the dumbbell up retract and for that it's better to have a little bit more bend in your arm so uh, in your elbow so you re retract the shoulder a lot also for the lower fibers of the traps the best exercise is parallel Y press or parallel shoulder press whichever you want to call it so if this is shoulder press again showing it from the side just come parallel to the ground and do this exercise you're gonna feel it in the lower trap also a little bit in the uh, upper fiber it's gonna be really great for stability and also correcting the posture